I'm Craig Summers, naturopath and nutritionist. Our topic, lipoprotein little a. A lipoprotein is a biochemical assembly that contains both proteins and lipids. Lipoprotein little a is a combination of two types of lipoprotein. It contains LDL, also known as low density lipoprotein, and apolipoprotein A, known as ApoA. LP little a levels are hereditary and not affected by diet or exercise. That means that even vegan raw food eaters can have elevated levels. I know this from personal experience as well as listening to what the experts have found. Elevated levels of LDL have been associated with heart disease, but when LDL and ApoA combine to form LP little a, and the LP little a becomes elevated, they create an even greater risk factor. When elevated, LP little a predicts the risk of early atherosclerosis independently of other cardiac risk factors, including elevated LDL. Numerous epidemiologic studies concluded that LP little a is a risk factor for atherosclerotic disease such as coronary heart disease and stroke. In addition, LP little a is a pro-inflammatory molecule containing oxidized phospholipids that have been shown to contribute directly to vascular disease progression. Lipoprotein little a was not discovered until 1963. This is a fairly recent discovery compared to cholesterol which was first identified in 1769. LP little a concentrations vary over 1,000 fold between individuals from less than 0.2 to greater than 200 milligrams per deciliter. This range of concentrations has been observed in all populations studied. Currently, a level of over 30 milligrams per deciliter is said to be elevated. A recent study followed 3,467 African Americans and 9,851 Caucasians for 20 years. The researchers found that an elevated LP level A conferred the same risk in each group. However, African Americans had roughly three times the level of LP little a, and LP little a also predicted an increased risk of stroke. LP little a remains in the bloodstream for about three to seven days. The kidneys have been identified as playing a role in LP little a clearance from the bloodstream. This means that people with kidney failure may develop elevated levels of LP little a. The commonly prescribed lipid reducing pharmaceutical drugs have little or no effect on LP little a concentrations. Furthermore, diet, exercise, and other environmental factors have little to no effect on LP little a concentrations. Fortunately for us, niacin but not the no flush type, may possibly reduce elevated levels of LP little a 20 to 30 percent when taken in medicinal doses. There are some new pharmaceutical drugs waiting for approval that show promise in lowering LP little a, but if approved, one should also consider the possible side effects of such a drug. The European Atherosclerosis Society recommends that all people with a moderate or high risk of cardiovascular disease have their lipoprotein little a levels measured. According to the society, any person with one of the following risk factors should be tested. Family history of hypercholesterolemia, which is a genetic disorder characterized by high cholesterol levels, premature cardiovascular disease, or a family history of premature cardiovascular disease, family history of elevated lipoprotein little a, recurrent cardiovascular disease 
despite statin treatment. Lowering LP little a can be difficult to achieve. If you find out that your LP little a is elevated, there are other things that you can do to reduce your risk. Eliminating other risk factors for heart disease, adopting a healthy lifestyle, and taking high quality omega-3 supplements may indeed help. In conclusion, knowing your personal risk factors and taking steps to eliminate them and incorporating a healthier lifestyle could really pay off in the long run.